Have you been wondering what has happened to the famous Six Sigma? If you had noticed the Six Sigma trend in the early 2000s and Jack Welch's unwavering faith in his principles, don't you wonder why it is hardly mentioned anymore? Jack Welch was the dynamic CEO of General Electric between 1981 and 2001, and 20 years ago no company was rated above it. In early 2000 it became the world's most valuable company over Microsoft. G adopted Six Sigma in 95 from Motorola, and under Jack it became a corporate religion. Six Sigma is a system for getting rid of manufacturing defects. Achieving Six Sigma means that 99.99966% of a company's products and services are without flaws. GE became the poster child for Six Sigma after they invested over $1 billion in training thousands of employees and adopting the system in every of their business units. So Six Sigma was spread to companies everywhere and it must have credential on CVs. In no time, it expanded from the specialized realm of process engineering to the broader business world. But does this still apply today? The popularity of Six Sigma began to dwindle as GE started a long and slow decline as the fortunes of the company greatly diminished from almost $600 billion in the mid-2000 to around $60 billion, so did interest in Six Sigma. And today Google states that searches for Six Sigma peaked in 2004 and has since been falling steadily. Even data from LinkedIn reveals that fewer and fewer of its users at Six Sigma is a skill to their online resumes. According to a Columbia business professor, Eric Abrahamson, Six Sigma is a management fashion that spread widely. The merchants of the system kept selling it to manufacturing firms, financial firms, service firms, government agencies, and nonprofits. So, once it became trendy and picked up by the masses, companies lost interest and moved on to the next big thing. According to him, the decline of Six Sigma was inevitable, because just like fashion, it has a life cycle. However, you might be happy to learn that Six Sigma isn't completely dead. Though GE discontinued Six Sigma as a company-wide initiative some years ago, it is not extinct at its offices and factories around the world. The chief learning officer at GE, Linda Boff, claims that Six Sigma is still an important tool in the GE toolbox. Various businesses still implement it to solve particular problems, but generally, interest in it has significantly waned. Part of the reason for this is because the defects in American manufacturing have reduced, so quality is no longer a top-tier concern. Besides, the software now drives most processes, and even Six Sigma on a resume attracts no more than a shrug, and that's nice, from managers or the recruiters. In truth, no single system can tame business because it is interconnected, dynamic, and increasingly complex. The smart companies of the future require a continually evolving rotation of methods and of skills. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.